Hello, my crafty friends. I hope y'all are having a nice, enjoyable weekend. Um, I did a uh, purchase from uh, K-Sue. She had a, a D-stash that was going on, and she wanted to sell some of her stamps. And uh, there was 30 stamps all together that she um, was selling, and it was a very reasonable price. I can't really tell you exactly what I paid because I've been buying stuff so much here lately, I, I can't even keep up with the prices anymore. Keep up with my bank account, but can't keep up with the prices. But anyway, anyway, it was a good deal. And uh, she uh, had some, they, they were already in a case. That, that was a really nice thing about what I liked about them. When she sent them, uh, she sent them in a Stampin' Up! Uh, plastic acrylic case, which I really like. I wished I had um, more cases like that because I do have some stamps um, that I have in a little box that don't have any that they're just not organized if you know what i'm saying so i have to dig through them but the, this is one of them and uh it was a a batch of leaves and this is what they look like they were in very good condition um i think she said there was maybe one or two that had you know some ink staining on them but most of them i mean pretty much most of them still look like brand new they, they're pretty good shape I don't see too much wear and tear on them. Um, anyway, that it was that one, and then there was this one here, which is the flowers. So I got those from her also, and they were um, flowers of the month. And these are from I think 1980 something, but the condition of these are in really good good shape. So I was really tickled about getting those. I just don't want to spend a lot of money on stamps. Um, I bought some some stamps from Stampers Best, and uh, I hope to one day eventually get a Tilda or Marcy stamp. So I'm I'm looking forward to getting getting a couple of those because um, I I love seeing everybody coloring these uh, cards, and I've got some Copics, but I just haven't been able to um, find where to get these stamps from and kind of hope I can find them sooner or later. Well, anyway, um, <clears throat> Louisa and I did a swap a while back ago, and she gave me some really beautiful uh, purple flowers uh, from Prima, and they were, you know, the, they're the kind that you put together, and, you know, you make your own little flowers with, so I guess flower petals, and then she gave me some really pretty sequined, uh, purple sequin beaded uh, trim, so, uh, I haven't really been able to craft much the past couple of weeks because I'm trying to get my house, you know, ready for everything that's getting ready to go on with me next week. So, I kind of wanted to, you know, I've been so busy doing this, 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 and this. It's been one project on top of another project. I have not had really much time to craft. And when I don't get time for myself, I get very moody and ornery. Almost like having PMS. I mean, you know, when I can't sit down and take some time for myself, I get, I just get really frustrated. So, last night, finally, you know, I finally sat down, but it was late at night. And I sat, I sat down and um, I took this bird cage that I had started on. I had already had it painted the lavender color and I had uh, trimmed it in some lavender paper. Um, I, I think it was Kane Company paper that I used. But um, the rest of the embellishments had not been done. So um, I took some of the, the some sequins. I have got um, bought some sequin a while back ago. And I trimmed the sequin all the way up on the candlestick base. So it's, it's uh, got the sequin um, bottom all the way up to the top of the base on the candlestick. I put a prima flower on the very bottom here with a rhinestone, and then a center uh, prima flower, and then one at the very top, and then tied a bow of purple lace ribbon. And then I put a purple flower there at the top, um, three little sequin beads right here, a prima flower on this left-hand side, and a feather on the other side. And then I trimmed it with uh, a lilac, um, beaded trim all on both the front and the back so the back doesn't really have too much on there but you know that's about what it looks like in the back so then um i, I was i got to thinking i'm like well how do i want to 
do the roof. You know, I, something about the roof. I like to do unusual things or something different. I don't like to keep the same roof every time. You know, when I do a birdhouse, I want to do something different with the roof. And then one one roof I did with um, pine cone needles. Um, then one room uh, roof I did with all beaded trim. Uh, I think this is the second birdhouse I have done. I, I don't think I've only, oh, yeah, I think this is the second one. I, I haven't done too many of them. Um, I'm trying to get around to them, but, you know, when I get in the mood for them. So, but this is the second one that I've made so far. Um, and I got a whole bunch more sitting in a closet. One day I'll open that closet and show you my, my stash pile from my thrift shopping. <laughs> I have a empty closet, which I have mentioned to you about, but... Um, I took the old, uh, plastic tubs out, and, uh, my husband, we put a, a metal, uh, shelf, shelving unit in the closet from Lowe's, and, uh, it holds, I mean, it holds, like, tons and tons of stuff, so now I've got everything on shelves, very well organized, I have, like, vases and glass, uh, bottles and jars that I want to, you know, alter, I have in one section birdhouses, and then I have plaques in one thing, teacups, and, you know, just all kinds of stuff. And then there's two areas on the bottom that, you know, from where I've been cleaning the house, I've been wanting to have a yard sale. So I just put that stuff on shelves until I, you know, get better better enough next spring to have the yard sale. But anyway, um, I took the sequin trim and... Uh, put it on the roof and this is how it turned out but I ran out because I was doing both sides at the same time and I wanted to make sure that they were evenly distributed so then when I got to the very top I ran out so I I used some more prima flowers on the top and you know, on both sides and made it equaled out and this is how how my birdhouse turned out I was really tickled about it I think it turned out really pretty the colors and I'll be putting that in our in my uh, lavender bedroom that I've been working on um, we're gonna get it painted next year and we'll have, get, uh, get it painted like a lavender color I'm undecided if I want I was thinking about like paneling in that room or uh, like a light colored paneling or either uh, like a light colored formica type of st deal I'm not really sure or either painting it just uh, lavender, and uh, either like paint half uh, half of it lavender, put a um, door rail molding around the, the the middle part, and then wallpaper it. So like I have half wallpapered and half um, painted. So that's about what I'm thinking about doing. But I would have to do the work myself. And right now, you know, it just depends on how I'll be feeling next year. So. That's being on hold right now, but everything else, I'm pretty much so getting all my little decorations for that room. I've already got the bed spreads and the curtains and um, just need to get the uh, little knickknacks that I plan on putting, which is going to be my homemade items. Um, one of the stamps that I showed you um, from k Sue is missing. Unfortunately, I now have, well, I know y'all, some of y'all have seen my uh, cat uh, video of my cat Haley. Uh, she um, steals steals her cat food cans and hides them, and she's a hoarder with the cans. So every day she she tries to hide her can, and, and this has been a ritual ever since for, for months and months on end. I you know she, I get um find her hiding spot, I try to keep her from getting to that spot again, and. Uh, She'll find another spot and and steal her can and take off with it and hide it somewhere else. So I'm constantly having to look for the missing cans that come out, out from you know, when she, we feed her in the mornings. Well, anyway, now she's learned she can steal Mommy's craft supplies. So this morning, um, I have no earthly idea where she has put that stamp at. I've been looking all over the place. Um... I, I don't, I'm not really sure. I'm just going to have to, when I feel like doing some bending, I don't feel like bending today. But she, uh, she took off with the stamp. And, 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 I mean, I was like chasing her, and she took off running, and she hid my stamp. So I've got one stamp somewhere around in this house. Uh, have no earthly idea where she put it. 
So when I go to cleaning tomorrow, I'll, I guess I'll have to go around and look again and see where she has uh, put my stamp. But last week, she took off with some of my lace. So she stole some of my lace. Um, a couple of days before that, she stole, a, I can't remember what it was, but she, she got, grabbed a hold of that and took off with it. Then I was making some uh, fabric flowers, and she took off with two of my fabric flowers and disappeared with them. And then last night, while I was, you know, I had finished this craft, and I put it up, and I started on another craft. I haven't showed that yet because I'm not finished with it. But I went up, got up to go to the bathroom. I came back, and my craft was gone. And I'm like, well, that little buzzard, what did you do with my, <laughs> my craft? So I'm looking all over the place. I had to get Andy to help me catch her because she had um, my craft in her mouth. Yeah. So I said, okay, now I got a problem with you. Um, she messes with my bling, and I'm going to bling her butt really big, big time. So I don't know what I'm going to do with this cat. She just, she just has this fetish about collecting stuff. Um, she's a hoarder. So I think she's taken after her mom to a degree. Uh, I do admit that I have a hoarding problem when it comes to craft supplies, but I'm very neat about it. I mean, it's my house is not like cluttered with crap everywhere. I mean, it's, you know, my, my living room, every, every room's walkable, and I don't have stuff piled up to the ceiling. I have a closet that I keep my craft supplies in, and that uh, this is where I buy stuff and, you know, from craft stores or whatever, and then I have my little kit pile in there, and when I feel like I want to do something, I just go in there, open the closet, pick out what I want to do, and like, um, I wanted to finish this birdhouse, and so that's what I did. I went to the closet and pulled it out because I had already had this one pre-painted, and uh, I finished it off last night. So, I have, like I said, I do have a little hoard vault in the house, but it's not uh, disastrously. It's very well neatly organized in my closet with the metal shelves. Um, so, I have, you know, each, each shelf has a certain thing, like I have birdhouses on one shelf, and plaques on the other, vases, glass jars, teacups, you know, just, you know, little bitty things that I can work on, and all I got to do is go in there and open the closet and say, okay, what do I want to make today? And sometimes uh, I get into lace and just want to do something with lace. Sometimes I want to do something with paper, but if I want to do something like make a, a birdhouse or a little knickknack for the house, then I go to that closet. So I do admit that I do have one little hoard vault in the house. Well, um, I was going to say it's been kind of quiet today because usually when I wake up, I see all these videos. But uh, right before I got ready to do this video, I went to go check my email and it's everybody at the same time just all of a sudden did videos together. <laughs> so I have about 15 or 20 emails that I got to um, look at and... Um, post and see what what everybody's up to um hope everybody had a nice sunday and you know, everyone's doing well um hope y'all have a nice week week to come i do have probably uh a haul video that's going to be coming up this week and that is a doozy it's something like some things i got off of ebay and then i have i will have a rack that i will have to do and then i have one craft that i want to show off before next week and then as of next week if i get really quiet you know where i'm at you know that i that my surgery's been done i'm going to get andy to um i'm going to talk to a, a few people in the in the computer um in youtube and just see if they will be n nice enough to um post that i'm doing okay I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to see if maybe uh, Pat or um, Fiona or, or somebody, Rosemary, um, I'm going to get my husband to maybe email one of them in my YouTube channel and, and let them know how I did so they can just kind of pass along um, that I'm okay. That, that way y'all will know that I that my surgery was, was okay, but I'm just in pain and can't get online. Um, I'm probably going to be about out for about two weeks, so if you don't see me, that's that's why, but I will be watching videos. Um, 
I, we have a day bed in my uh, den, and, and I have a nice, comfortable recliner, and we have a hospital bed in my den also that I keep my wireless uh, keyboard um, on it and uh, the, my mouse on it. And uh, my computer uh, screen is my TV. We've got my modem hooked up to the TV st uh, channel. So I can lay, lay down, I can at least lay down and uh, use my mouse and, and watch videos. I'm just not going to be able to post any videos and, and uh, be getting up walking around and all. But when, when I get up to feeling better, I will be back online and, and everything. But I'll be out for about two weeks. But um, I, I, like I said, um, I'll get my husband. I'll, I'll talk to a couple of the girls in YouTube and... and but my husband, I'll let them email him email one of you and uh, let you know that I'm doing okay, and that way y'all can just kind of pass the word along that I'm I'm all right and doing it fine, just in pain and can't can't um, get online yet. Well, I hope everybody has a nice week, or uh, the ones that uh, don't don't get a chance to get back on YouTube uh, the rest of the week, and uh, the rest of us that are having enjoying the rest of our Sunday. I hope we all enjoy ourselves and have a lot of fun. I will talk to you guys later, and uh, enjoy your evening. Bye-bye.